Mitral regurgitation, a condition where the valve sitting in the middle of your heart is leaking, leading to inefficiency and heart failure. Imagine for a minute that you have this condition, mitral regurgitation. Over time, you'd feel more breathless. You'd have less energy. You'd have to give up doing the things that you love. And one day, it would threaten your life. Ordinarily, we'd replace your valve surgically. But if you come to us when it's too late, when the heart is already swollen and weak, then studies show us that stopping the heart and putting it on a heart-lung machine is fraught with immense danger. You see, replacing the leaking mitral valve in a weak and swollen heart is a bit like sealing a leak in a baker's piping bag. The force now required to empty the bag becomes greater, and the weak and swollen heart may not be able to cope. Too many people come to us like this, when it's too late, through no fault of their own. But what if we could replace your mitral valve without stopping your heart? That's right, what if we could replace the valve in the very middle of your heart as it was still beating? Well, that's what we've done. Leading a world first trial, we at St Vincent's Hospital and UNSW have successfully replaced the mitral valve in human beings without stopping the heart and without using a heart-lung machine. Our caseload now represents one quarter of the worldwide experience with this procedure. And for my PhD, I've studied this cohort by performing detailed intraoperative pressure measurements before, during, and after valve implantation. And I've simultaneously performed live 3D imaging of the heart in order to describe for the very first time the functional response of the beating human heart to mitral valve replacement. Fascinatingly, I've shown that the weak and swollen heart is actually able to cope with the stress of a new mitral valve. And that although the total flow within the system after the valve reduces, flow efficiency improves and cardiac performance is preserved. Or if we go back to the baker's piping bag, although less icing is now coming out of the bag in total, the amount of icing coming out onto the cake is just as good. But what does this finding mean, this world first finding, mean for you with your mitral regurgitation? Well, it means that if you do come to us when it's too late, when the heart is already swollen and weak, then perhaps all is not lost. We may be able to offer you hope, hope of regaining your function, your activities, your quality of life, getting back to doing those things you used to love to do but are no longer able to. Imagine that. Well, imagine no longer, because through the power of science and innovation, that future is here today without skipping a beat. Thank you.